What's up everybody, Billy Fila from Masterful Mechanics Baseball, here for part two of our basic T hitting drill progression. So if you were in tune with our last video, you saw we started out with three of our basic drills in our T progression. Um, those three drills were our hip turn drill, our contact hold, and up the middle. So we looked at these three different T drills and how they could help your routine. Uh, they can help your hitting contact and help increase your power. So today we're going to look at the last two drills in this progression. So there's five total. Uh, the two we're looking at today is the Happy Gilmore. Great movie. And the second one is called Around the World, which is number five in our progression. So Happy Gilmore drill and Around the World drill. So that brings us to our three learning objectives. Objective number one is you're going to learn the, those two drills. And learning objective number two, you're going to learn how they can help improve your hitting contact and again how they're going to help increase your power which like we talked about last time mainly comes from our lower half starting with our legs working from the ground up um, with firing our hips staying on the ball and learning check number three we're going to learn uh, why would we use a drill progression why can't i just hit off the tee and do whatever i want you know and train however i want to that day well i'm going to show you and tell you specifically why you should use this progression and any T progression, really, that's gonna help you become a better baseball player and a better hitter. So, let's get it cracking, baby. All right, here we go. Drill number one is Happy Gilmore. If you've seen the movie, you're familiar with the Happy Gilmore golf shot. Okay, instead of the traditional, stand here. I'm terrible at golf. My ball slices every time from a bit my baseball swing. Um, so instead of like a golfer standing here, okay, Happy Gilmore got the nice little walk up, get some power behind it, yeah, yeah, okay, and he crushed that ball. So that's the main goal of our drill, is this drill is gonna be mostly for power. Okay, contact comes into play a little bit, obviously anytime you're hitting the ball, you gotta make contact. Solid contact is always good as a hitter. Uh, but this drill is mainly for power. Okay, so I'll walk you through it slow-mo, and we'll go through it, and then we'll do a few live, and go from there. All right, happy Gilmore drill. So you're going to start back a little further here. Okay, eyes on the tee again. We can start visualize the picture if you want, but this drill is a little different since we're walking up to it. Um, we're just going to mainly have our eyes on the tee instead of visualizing a picture here just because it's not really realistic to a game situation. Okay, stand in your normal stance, feet shoulder width apart, hands on the bat. You're going to take a step with your front foot, back foot goes behind, okay, and all while you're doing this, keep your front hip on the ball. And that's what I like to tell my hitters, is to track that ball with your front hip. So as that, your leg comes forward then, track the ball with this front hip. Track, track, track. As soon as your foot hits, turn the hips and the foot, fire them, get to your contact point, finish up through it, and be strong. Okay, try to finish balance. Obviously, again, with your weight back. Okay, maybe about 60, 70% of your weight still on that back leg. So I'll show you a few in real time. Again, the main goal of this drill is that power. So as soon as that front foot hits, track with the front hip, keep that front hip right on the ball, track, 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 front foot hits, boom, I'm firing my hips hard. Again, we wanna explode from our hips and that back foot, okay? Boom, landing foot hits, our step foot's down. Now we can start our actual swing from our hips. Pretend that foot, again, is corkscrewed into the ground, screwed in there, all you can do is turn it and fire from this back hip. Here's another one. Front foot, back foot, hits. Show you one more. Again, focus on my front hip tracking as I approach the ball, front foot hits. Watch how hard I fire my hips and keep good balance. At least try to. All right, there it is. There is your Happy Gilmore drill. Again, more for power than anything, okay? If you don't hit the ball well your first two times, that's fine because it's different. Your eyes are gonna be moving approaching the ball. And that's totally fine. It's gonna help improve your contact though just because you are moving. So when you're hitting, obviously you're more stationary here, foot down, boom, go. But as you're walking up to it now, we're training ourselves to make it more challenging in practice because our eyes are moving, 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 and we still gotta make solid contact with the ball. So that's one of the reasons why I like this drill. It's mainly for power, but it's also good for content. All right, around the world, my favorite hitting, my favorite T drill, I think, of all time. 
Uh, I watched a video with Tony Gwynn, um, and he was doing this drill, so if it's good enough for Tony, God bless, RIP, it's good enough for me. Okay, he's one of the best overall hitters to ever play this game, and he does this drill, so I do it too. So, just like the up the middle tee drill, we're just gonna try to hit the ball hard off the tee. Again, try to hit the bottom half, inside seam, no matter where the pitch is located. This drill is mainly for location, so it's gonna be for contact and for obtaining power to uh, different fields. So for this, I would start, as most hitters do, is low and outside. Okay, again, it's a location drill, so we're gonna be moving the location. That's why it's called around the world. We're moving the ball to all the different locations around the plate, around the world. So, I would always start with the pitch you struggle with most. If you struggle with the high and in, then start high and in. If you struggle low and away, like most, like most hitters do, start with that. So that's where I usually struggle to begin, so I'm gonna start low and away. So pretend this is our plate, let's use our imaginations. I didn't have a plate here at the Harrisburg Gymnastics School since it's not a baseball facility, but, okay, we got a square close enough to a plate. So I'm gonna put the T on the, okay, outer half. Okay, put it down nice and low, low and out. And when we make contact with that outside pitch, okay, instead of the pitch down the middle, where we wanna make contact right on our front leg here, okay, that outside pitch, we wanna let it travel a little further and hit it further back. Okay, maybe in the middle of our body, maybe more on our back leg, depends what kind of hitter you are. Okay, but we gotta let that outside pitch travel a little more so we can take the barrel to it. Okay, knob, then barrel. All right, so let's get the low and outside pitch. I like to hit this pitch, okay, almost on my back leg, between the middle of my body and my back knee. Hitting into a net, you wanna, might wanna move the net over, because as a lefty, I'm gonna try to hit this pitch to left field. I'm gonna take the same thing, visualize the pitcher, foot down, my first move, hips and foot. Then I take, with the outside pitch, take the knob of the bat, get that angle towards the ball, then get the barrel to it. And you're gonna take the same step, same approach, no matter where the pitch is located, everything's the same, except where you're positioning your hands and where you're making contact with the ball. Again, outside, you're gonna let the ball travel a little more, get it closer towards the catcher, take the knob of the bat, angle it to hit that outside pitch. All right, let's, so let's say I took maybe, you know, about eight reps or whatever, low and out, I'm feeling good. All right, now I can move it I'll move the T in a little bit, so now it's more middle out. Maybe move it up a little bit, okay, just to change the height of the pitch and the location. Okay, and then I'm gonna let it rip from there. Same thing, now this pitch is still outside, so I'm gonna hit it more in the middle of my body since it's a little more in the heart of the plate. Okay, same thing, take that same swing, take the hands to it, let it rip. Same thing, you took a good, Solid six, seven rips there. Okay, maybe now I'm gonna hit a few up the middle. Up the middle, same thing. Bottom half of the ball, inside seam, no matter where the pitch is located. All right, now inside. All right, let's say I'm happy with all the swings I took from the outside, moving the T. Okay, from the out to middle, now I'm gonna move it in. Okay, let's say now I'm at up and in. I'm gonna practice hitting this pitch. So again, like the pitch down the middle, we're hitting right on our front leg. Okay, that inside pitch, we need to hit out in front of our bodies. So we can get our hips cleared, keep our hands inside the ball, get that angle where we can make contact out front and then finish high. Okay, so for this inside pitch now, I'm gonna make contact way out here and try to turn on it, hit it down the right field line. All right, so say you're happy with up and in, now maybe move to down and in. Okay, so literally this around the world drill is just practicing at all the different locations. You don't have to go from out, middle, in, and keep working around. You can go, hit a few outside, hit a few in, hit a few middle, go back in, go back out. Whatever you want, make this your own drill. But the key here is to get used to hitting in all different locations because when a pitcher's throwing to you in the game, he's not gonna put in your sweet spot every time, unfortunately, that'd be nice. But as pitchers, you know, we're gonna try to hit the spots 
that you don't like, okay? And we're gonna try to give you a pitcher's pitch to hit. So that's why we're practicing our contact here at all different locations. Okay, let me give you one down and in, then we'll go over our three learning objectives. Bada bing, bada boom, go try this drill out. Low and in, same thing, only difference on the low pitch. Hey, I'm gonna still take my knob, keep my hands in. Knob goes forward towards the pitcher, but I'm gonna let my barrel drop and drop the head on the baseball. So I might have more of an angle with that low pitch. Okay, instead of having the middle pitch here, okay, low pitch, my barrel is gonna be angled like this down low. All right, so there you have it. Basic T hitting drill progression, the last two drills. So you got those down. So all five are hip turn drill, contact hold, up the middle, Happy Gilmore, and Tony Gwynn's favorite, around the world. So you learned all the drills, there you go. Now you can go practice them. Learn objective number two, you learned how each drill specifically is gonna help with your contact and help with your power. Today we looked at power first with the Happy Gilmore drill, and then we looked at more contact in different locations uh, with around the world. Learn objective number three was to learn why we do a T progression. So let's go over that now, really quickly. Uh, T progressions are great, just like any progression, okay? You're gonna work, warm your way up, work from the, the start or work from the bottom, work your way forward. So the reason we do this type of progression off the T, for our, uh, it's our basic progression, but anyone can use it, doesn't matter if you're you know, six years old or you're a freaking pro guy or a D1 uh, college athlete, you can still do these basic drills and work your way up to our advanced drills, which you'll see in another video. Uh, but the reason we do this progression is we're starting our swing and we're just taking it in steps. So, what's our first drill? The hip turn drill? What are we doing? All we're doing, we're taking our arms out of the equation. All we're focusing on, bat behind our back, okay? Fire the hip in the back foot. So that's our first move. Hip gets fired, boom, that's the first step in my swing. Step number two, an important area of our swing, is contact. So we're gonna have a contact hold. Okay, teach our body that muscle memory where we want it to be when we make contact. So we got hips turn, contact, what's now? What's next? Up the middle drill. Okay, we might as well start simple and start with that pitch down the middle that's a little easier to hit than pitches on the corners of the plate or pitches that are down or up. We're gonna go thigh high up the middle to start. Okay, so working our way in steps. What's next? The happy Gilmore drill. Okay, once you've once you're happy and you feel comfortable with your swing up the middle, then you can utilize the Happy Gilmore drill to gain some more power, make it a little more challenging. Okay, we're keeping our swing the same, but our feet are moving to make it more challenging and also to really focus on firing the hips because as you're bringing your hips forward, you can really crank them hard. Okay, and then you'll be able to um, emulate that same hip movement when you're just standing there getting ready to hit in a game. And then last year around the world, okay, once you've accomplished and achieved all those other drills and you're happy with them, then you can move to around the world, work on the different locations. So then you're gonna be ready in a game situation when a pitcher throws you that low and outside pitch or wherever your pitch you struggle with or used to struggle with. Okay, you can take that pitch and hit it where it's pitched and you know, or send it right back up the middle and get a base hit on it, okay, and surprise the pitcher. That's the worst, as a pitcher, when you think a hitter can't hit a pitch, you throw it there and then he, and then he beats you. So that's why we practice these different locations. So now you're ready to go out, try this drill progression for yourself. Uh, make it your own again. Uh, put some, some info in the video details about how many you should be doing with each drill and uh, how often you should be doing these drills and everything. But you can always reach out for, to me with any questions. Thanks for staying tuned with our, with our hitting videos here. I hope you enjoyed them. Uh, Till next time, take it easy and peace out everybody.